are minimalists. <laughs> How do I stop searching for the thing? It's like your black shirts. I want to find my black shirts for all things, but the time spent searching is a huge time consumer and overwhelming to my already busy life. When I do find an item I like, I feel inclined to purchase multiples so I can save time and energy in the future. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, no. here's the thing. You're telling yourself there's something wrong with it because now if you're over consuming, but we have a rule in the minimalist rule book, the just for win rule. Mm -hmm. You do not buy your toilet paper one square at a time. You right. buy multiples. Now you buy what is appropriate. That might mean a pack of four. Mm -hmm. toilet paper if you have space for 12 pe uh, rolls of toilet paper then then you do that but also the question then is like what is the most appropriate maybe i want the eco-friendly one or maybe i really value the softness of charmin or whatever mm -hmm. whatever you're, you're then buying what is appropriate for you you've made the decision so you don't have to keep making the decision and going through decision fatigue yeah. and so the reason i mentioned the black shirts earlier because i knew this question would, would come up but my black shirts even changed over time. The brand I used to wear, right. Save Khaki, mm -hmm. I still like, but their materials have changed slightly. And I just, last time I went to replace my shirts with them, I was like, oh, I don't like this as much as, as the way it used to feel. Yeah. Now, it could be they upgraded to some new trendy, you know, make it look trendy in a way, but I just didn't like the way that it fit me. And yeah. so it, your preferences might change over time. Jenna. And so, uh, yes, the black shirts, When I, as soon as I find something, then it's mine for a while. I don't need it to be trendy. I don't need it to be um, appreciably different. And it's not about the constant search. Minimalism, what it helps us do, minimalism helps us find the thing, make the decision on it intentionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we make that deliberate decision, we don't have to keep making that decision over and over and over because we found the thing that's not going to complete us, but it's going to add value to our lives. And as long as I need that thing in my life, then I can have it. If I stop getting value from it, I can let it go. Yeah. I mean, I would offer a different perspective on the black shirts. Like the, the, the brand of shirt that I have now, it is you know, it fits my preferences the most, but it's just one of many brands out there that will fit my preferences. I just so happens I found this one. And if that company spontaneously combusted, I wouldn't be like, Oh no, I'll never find the, another perfect black t-shirt. Like I know there's something else out there to replace it. So I would offer that person instead of looking at the black shirt as in, you guys have found the perfect black shirts for yourself. It's like, okay, maybe, but it's just one of the many perfect solutions for our black t-shirts. And that, that's a really important po point. There is no the thing. Right. As I just mentioned, the brand I used to use before is no longer the thing for me because they made some sort of change. Yeah. And at first, I did feel the twinge of, oh, no. But it was more like, oh, no. Now I have to figure out where else to get a shirt from, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so trying it out until you find that thing, that's how you make an intentional decision. You might try this. Oh, that doesn't work. You might try that. That doesn't work. You try something else. That doesn't work. But as soon as you make the decision, mm. now you can stop making the decision going forward yeah. for as long as it continues to add value to your life. Imagine if we had this attitude, if we had Jenna's attitude with our, our partners. I mean, uh, there are, what, 7 billion people in the world? Almost eight now, yeah. Okay, so they're, they're and like 50% of them are women? Yes. So we're talking 4 billion people? Mm -hmm. It's like, if I found Mariah, and I'm like, okay, she's like, great, you know, we, we get along, uh, everything's wonderful, but there are still another, you know, rounding up, uh, still another 4 billion women I have to go and, and, and you know, sort through. <laughs> Um, uh, Ryan tried that throughout his 20s. <laughs> he made it to about 1 billion. <laughs> Rounding up to the nearest billion. <laughs> yes. But I mean, the, the, the thing is, is like you, when you come across something that fits your life, great. Yes. Take it. And minimalism, I think, helps you appreciate that thing that fits into your life That's right. without trying to um, have every single option. Because you will get decision fatigue and you'll end up where Jenna is, where like you never feel content because you're always thinking something else is out there, but something out there is, is better. Here's the thing. Nothing is perfect. You're never going to find the perfect thing, period. These black t-shirts aren't perfect. They're right. just, they're, they're the best for the options that I have. Mm -hmm. um, also, there's always going to be something out there that is just as good 
or maybe even better. So there's, there's like a whole like fear of missing out thing that's happening too with this where, yeah, you're missing out on a lot of things. Yeah. You can either uh, accept that or you could beat yourself up over it. But yeah, I th- I, again, I think minimalism helps you accept. It helps you identify what is enough. Yeah. And it's not through the more. It's not through getting the right t-shirt, getting the right couch, whatever. It's like, okay, eventually I'm going to need a couch because of these reasons. Mm-hmm. I don't need need it. It's a non-essential item, right? Mm-hmm. But it adds value. And so, yes, I want a couch. And so I'm going to spend more time up front finding the couch. So as soon as I have that couch, now I'm not worrying about it anymore. Mm-hmm. I know what is enough for me. Now, recognizing that sometimes enough once you figure out what enough is for you as an adult, it does change slightly, especially if your family expands or something like that, mm-hmm. but it's still within the same ballpark. So your enough, enough might expand a little bit and contract for certain seasons of life, but identifying what en- is enough is where you start because otherwise, if you don't know what enough is, what are you going to look for? You're going to keep looking for the thing. Mm. You're going to look for the thing because you don't realize that you already have more than enough. And the way you get to enough isn't through acquiring the thing. It's letting go of many of the things that are in the way. Yeah. Enough isn't enough until you decide it's enough. Amen. (laughs) Did you enjoy this video? If so, you can listen to full episodes of the Minimalist Private Podcast available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists today. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.